Welcome to Episode 4 of the Privacy and Security Brainiacs 2-Minute Warning, helping you to be a Privacy and Security Brainiac too. Recently, on one of the neighborhood social media pages I follow, there was the following post and image which I have significantly blurred and cropped. It was a very clear image and it showed a young person leaning straight at the camera, face and body fully shown sitting on a bicycle appeared to be somewhere between 12 to 15 years old. The poster warned about the child being confrontational and looking in windows. The first concern I had was for the privacy of this child on a social media site. It quickly had over 50 comments, many predicting the crimes that the child would be doing based solely on the photo and statement made. Then, comments came from a person wearing a healthcare worker's scrubs, wearing a name tag that included a mental health care facility name, including claims about the person having mental health disorders. HIPAA prohibits sharing such information. The protections for mental health data under HIPAA are more than for other types of PHI. More comments were then made. The commenter who revealed the child's name and medical conditions claimed she stopped working there and that she's no longer obligated to comply with HIPAA. That is false. The next day, the original poster deleted the full post. There are two big lessons here about HIPAA requirements and noncompliance and posting a child's photo to a public site. First, HIPAA requires all those working for healthcare organizations to protect PHI and never use or share it in an unauthorized manner. This obligation never goes away. After a worker who had access to PHI leaves the organization, they must still ensure PHI they access during work is protected, including not publicly posting patient PHI. This should be in their worker agreements and in the company's policies and in their training. Second, someone in the general public posting a child's photo or anyone's photo for that matter that they suspect of doing something bad or based on assumptions can be very harmful to that individual. And I understand the desire to warn neighbors about a potential threat. However, they must consider the possible ramifications of posting a photo and accusation without knowing the full context of the situation. Ultimately, stop and think twice before you post someone's photo or video online making an accusation about them. Children are particularly vulnerable. Please send us a message and let us know your feedback. Thank you for watching. We will be back soon with another informative security and privacy two-minute warning.